Greetings guys, today I've got a Andy H97 challenge lock which I'm going to attempt to pick. Uh, this was kindly forwarded on to me by uh, Rob Locks, I believe it is, um, who has a YouTube channel which I will link down below. And um, Rob Locks said that he actually struggled to pick the padlocks more than uh, the Euro cylinders. There was basically a set of four. Um, challenge locks by Andy being sent around um, uh, Yale, Euro um, uh, one called Keith and also a Casp padlock and um, well I told him uh, that I actually found the padlocks easier to pick than the Euros which is the truth but uh, I didn't want to give him the impression that I found the padlocks easy. Um, these are, uh, of course, created by Andy H97. They're going to be a, ch a challenge for sure. Um, so let's take a look at the padlock actually. It's quite interesting. It's a Yale and it seems to have a, an aluminium body. It's really light but the shackle is um, stainless steel. And the most surprising part of this is a keyway. Um, and that, to me, I don't know about you guys, but that certainly, to me, looks like an American lock keyway. And the key does definitely say Yale on it, so... Um, it's a really weird lock to operate as well, because when you turn the key, it's just really, really smooth. And then the shackle just goes bang when it opens, so... Anyway, uh, let's give it a go. I'll need all the time I can get, no doubt, with this one. Um, I'm going to go top of the keyway because I, I'm just going to treat it like an American lock, basically. Excuse the mess in the background. Currently working on somebody's uh, ignition lock. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to try working from the edge there. Just straighten up a bit. I'm sorry you guys don't get much of a view but um, it's either you guys get a nice view or I get the lock open. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with a, a Euro who can set some of those lower pins. Go in uh, nice and light on the tension, but obviously heavy enough to uh, overcome the spring on the core. And I can definitely feel that there's some sort of uh, spool type pins in here. Oh, wow, okay, that's the fastest time I've ever picked that lock. Um, so I actually Interestingly enough, I managed to open it on pin 1, which is uh, quite a low set pin. But as you can just about see, it is slightly higher than um, than the w the pin after it, pin 2. Huh, interesting. Well, let's take this lock apart. Uh, take a pinning tray. I honestly, guys, did not expect to get it open that, that quickly. Right. There's a screwdriver. Interesting how the screws off to one side. I noticed that in um, an American lock as well. Some of the American locks are like that. Okie dokie. Ooh, that's quite a long, um, a long pin for holding the plate in the bottom. And Nice thick plate. Now, let's take this out. Okay, there's no anti shim disc or nothing. I believe that brown gunk up there is uh, just a lubricant of some sort. Okay, so we've got six pin core. I'm going to risk locking it up because we do have the key. And we have all six pins in it. Okay. Alright, I'm just uh, 
uh, just thinking about how I'm going to take this lock apart. And let's use a shim. Yeah, no, I'm using that one instead of the one that's lying out. It's just because uh, this one here is slightly thicker, and I think it might be just a tad easier to work with. Right. Okie dokie, so let's get the shim in. It's hanging up on something in there. Nope. I'd say that's it in. Okie dokie. Just hope for the best. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? It's not often I use a shim. But they do make life an awful lot easier. Right. Okay. So, what have we got? Okay. Keys can be a little bit deceptive, because um, the key, by the key you'd think that that pin too didn't have to be lifted very far at all, but it actually has to be lifted a fair bit. I'm just gonna ooh, okay. I accidentally dumped out more than one pin, but one of them steel and one of them's brass. I believe the steel pin was from chamber one, but I'll double check that before I reassemble it. And by the way, if anybody knows the model number of this padlock, I'd love to know it. Because I've never ever seen a Yale, Yale padlock of that type. And um, I certainly don't think they make them anymore. If they did make them, it could of course be a, a Chinese copy. Or I suppose it could be from the American market, which is quite likely. Alright. Got all sorts of metal and... Gun on my fingers. Right, where's the tweezers? Yeah, I'm just going to take them out and then I'm going to describe them to you um, in a second. <laughs> Some really, really interesting pins. Couldn't expect any less. Uh, from Andy and I believe all those springs are the same okay I don't see I'm just um, looking off frame I don't see any uh, threadings so I should have checked the core as well the core doesn't seem to have any threadings in it either Let's take a look at the pins. So down, um, down here in the key pins we have uh, serrated and one, two, and six, and the rest are just short um, standard pins. In chamber one of uh, of the top of the driver pins, that is actually a serrated pin. Let me just. Uh, Grab something. As you can see, got some nice serrations there. A standard spool in two, and this is a nice looking pin. Really nice, and I can actually see. Oops, let's not lose it. I can just about make up out on the camera. It looks 
tiny bit like there's a lip on that that wider bit there as it rolls away. I really need to invest in some cat here, which is uh, the lockpicking patrolman's uh, suggestion. Apparently it makes cameras focus very well. A really weird looking serrated pin, and that's four. And in chamber five we have a nice looking weird spool pointy thing. <laughs> a nice pin. And in five, last but not least, we just have a standard pin. So there's an overview. If again, we can focus. There you go. Some really, really nice pins. Couldn't expect any less from Andy H. Um, so thanks very much, Roblox, for forwarding this on to me. And uh, please check out uh, Roblox. Um, I believe he might have picked this lock. He certainly picked the uh, red cast pad lock. So please do check out his channel and uh, subscribe to him as well. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.